Hi guys, welcome to Gaming Watcher. My name is Rolson and in this video I'll tell you how to get the new exotic trace rifle Ruinous Effigy in Destiny 2. I got this weapon myself yesterday and I've just been having so much fun with it. It's it's really awesome guys. It's, whenever you kill an enemy with this weapon you turn them into this little ball, this little orb of void, I think, void light and you can use this ball, you can pick that up and then go around smashing enemies over the head with it. And it has these three attacks, it has a light attack and then it has a, uh, a heavy attack which is kind of a dunk. Like you jump up in the air and you dunk the ball down and there's kind of this, like this area of effect damage. And then you have a third attack which is like a shield that you can put up that I think it damages enemies as well as shields you. I don't. I haven't used it that much yet. Anyways, this weapon is really fun to use, guys, and it does a lot of damage. And if nothing else, it's it's unique. I haven't tried using anything like this before, so I think it's really worth getting. And the quest is even not that bad. I did the whole thing in one sitting. And in this video, I'll go through exactly how to get it. So let's just get into it. So. First things first, first you go to the prismatic recaster in the tower by the drifter to get your weekly means to an end quest. Once you've gotten that you will see that there's another quest called growth which is an exotic quest. Take that as well. So as you will see here the first quest step in this quest is to do the weekly interference quest on Io. And to do that quest you have to do the means to an end quest do the um, contact public events, yada yada yada, with doing this every week, I think you know what to do. So just get to the interference quest and go through that. It's, it's like it is every week, it's the same basic quest, you get a little bit more lore, you get to annoy Savathun a little bit, it's pretty fun. So once you've gotten through the quest and you go through the portal, you go to have your fun conversation with Eris by the Tree of Silver Wings as always and here she starts talking to you about a gift. Just listen to this. This phrasing is directed at an equal. The message here is gift. Something offered in an outstretched hand. Then Savala decided to join the party. Magnificent. And then I'm just like, what the fuck, bro, man? Like, do you remember all the shit you put me through? Like, all the fucking worm hive gods and shit I've killed for you? Could you spare me some room, please? God damn it, man. Uh, anyways, you'll see this cutscene when you get to it. No reason for me to go through it. So, after Eris and the oh so important Savala has finished talking, you get the next quest step. And you get the actual gift, which is a, a tree branch. I guess, I guess that's what the darkness could afford. Tough times. So, for this next quest step, you'll have to do two things. This is pretty easy, but also pretty time consuming. So, the first thing you have to do is you have to kill what is called Savathun's marionettes. These are champions. You find these, you encounter them randomly on IO and on Titan and you can kind of see them by, they're always followed by big Taken enemies. So even big ogres or other big Taken enemies, uh, sometimes there's a blight that you have to take down and there's a big like shielded Taken enemy that will help shield around them that you can remove by taking down the blight. That's kind of how you find them. So you walk around Io and Titan and you look for these big taken enemies and when you see them you just blast away. The other thing you need to do is you need to pick up these small... They actually look like ghosts, but it's, it's, it's light apparently. It's uh, calcified light fragments. These are placed in random places, or not random places, but in various locations throughout Io Titan, Mars and Mercury and they are marked on the screen. So when you, you whip out your ghost you will see some pointers on the screen and you just go for those 
There's also like a distance marker so you can kind of you can kind of just run around with your ghost out and see where these are and find them and pick them up. And that's it. It's really easy to find these because you can see them with your ghost out. But again, it's time consuming to find all of these. When doing this quest step, remember that you can actually whip out your ghost while you're on your sparrows. So just just push the button to whip out the ghost and you can actually just fly around on your sparrow while seeing these markers on the screen so you can ease more easily find these calcified life fragments. So, while you collect these light fragments, you will of course encounter some of these marionettes, Sabathun's marionettes that you have to kill while you're on Io and Titan looking for the light fragments. But if you're like me, you will have finished all the light fragments and still have to do some more killing of the marionettes. And I've been told that they spawn more frequently on Io. So I went back to Io after collecting all the light fragments and I went into the Lost Oasis. And I found out after being there for some time that there was basically two places where these marionettes that you have to kill were spawning. So I just went back and forth between these two places. I even got a friend who was called Etti Colleone. And we bonded a little bit and had a good time. And that's what Destiny is all about. Yes, yeah, so we just went around on Io and killed these uh, marionettes. Uh, and had fun with it. It didn't take too long and it was actually pretty fun. They're pretty challenging fights but not like frustrating or impossible. You can take them down by yourself. It just it just takes some time and of course you have to be ready for the champions. They can either be unstoppable champions or barrier champions or overload champions. So once you've killed all 15 of Savathun's marionettes, you get the next quest step. And in this next quest step, you have to go into the Reckoning. That's the activity in the Gambit playlist by the Drifter, where it's kind of a horde mode activity. You have to build a bridge. I made a whole guide on it. You can go watch that if you're going into the Reckoning and you haven't done it before. Just know that you're gonna go in there and it's you can do, there are three quests steps in this step but you can do all three of those in the reckoning very easily the first one is you have to complete reckoning matches the second one is you have to get void kills and the third one is that you have to get multiple precision kills so several precision kills in a row and actually reckoning is perfect for this if you just go in there with a void weapon that has some level of precision so you can do precision kills, you should pretty easily could make a lot of void kills and precision multi-kills as well while completing these reckoning runs. So just go into reckoning, it took me two completions to get all of these, oh actually only two of them I got down with the two reckoning completions. And by the way, the higher tire of reckoning that you complete, so there's tire 1, tire 2, and tire 3. And if you do tire 3, that gives you the most progress. So I did two completions of tire 3, and that was enough to give me the two first quest steps. Then I just needed to do a little bit more of the um, precision multi kills, and I just went into the Whisper of the Worm mission to the grinding spot that I have also shown in the previous guide, where you could can just get like infinite kills and I just stood there and got the rest of the kills there. So once you get all the precision kills down you get an exotic ingram. In this ingram you need to go back to the tower to the drifter and you need to turn this in in the umbral decoder where you also decode all the umbral ingrams that you get. And that's it. You now have the Ruinous Effigy and you can now turn all of your enemies into small balls of light that you can throw into the face of other enemies. Go and have fun guys. So there's also a catalyst for this weapon and it is probably the easiest catalyst that I've ever gotten. It literally dropped the very first time that I picked up this orb that you get when you kill someone and I smacked it into the face of another enemy the catalyst literally just dropped the very first time I did that. So go do that as soon as possible, just load into a strike or something, smack someone in the face with a ball of void and you get the catalyst. And 
doing the catalyst you can either just get a lot of kills with the weapon which I would of course do in the whisper mission where else damn I'm gonna miss that place when they remove it with beyond light but the other way you can do this is by you can you can actually go around and kill those big balls <laughs> you can kill the big balls you can kill those uh, the eyes of Sabathun that has been uh, placed around all locations for this season there are some triumphs that you can get if you want to get the title for this season and it's also in the moments of triumph that just released so if you want to get that triumph or those triumphs you have to get all 50 Eyes of Savathun, so if you're doing that anyway, you might as well get the Catalyst that way, because it gives you, I think it's 3% progress every time you kill one of these Eyes of Savathun, so that's also a way to get it. Anyways guys, if you want to connect with me or other Gaming Watchers, please join the Gaming Watcher Discord server, there's a link in the description. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. As always, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.